In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to create a ghost effect in Photoshop. First of all, open up Photoshop, go to the File menu and click on the Open option. Select your desired image and click on the Open button to bring the image onto the canvas. Once opened, right-click on the layer and choose the Duplicate Layer option. Change its name to Ghost Effect and disable the visibility of the duplicated layer. Now select the background layer and click on the Lasso tool from the menu and create a selection on the image where you want to apply the effect. You can also use other selection tools to make a more detailed selection. Once done, go to the Edit menu and click on the Fill option. Choose the Content Aware option from the menu and click on the OK button to apply it on the selected area. Once done, click on the Deselect option from the Select menu to clear your selection. Now use the Clone Stamp tool from the menu to fix up the image a bit. Once done, make the Ghost Effect layer visible again. Click on the Adjustment Layer button and select the Brightness Contrast option from the menu. Increase the contrast level to 75. Once done, right-click on the Ghost Effect layer and convert it into a Smart Object. Now we would be applying a few filters on the image. Go to the Filter menu, select Distort, and click on the Diffuse Glow filter. Set the graininess level to 0, glow amount and clear amount to 10, and click on the OK button to apply the filter. Once again, go to the Filter menu, select Blur, and click on the Motion Blur filter. Set the angle to 0 degrees, distance to 5 pixels, and click on the OK button to apply these settings. Click on the Smart Filter Mask layer and select the Eraser tool from the menu and carefully remove the excess glow from the image. Once done, right-click on the Ghost Effect layer and select Blending Options from the menu. Decrease the opacity level to 75% and set both black and white markers of the Underlying Layer option to 200. Once done, click on the OK button to apply these settings. Now go to the File menu and click on the Open option. Choose a grunge image for your background and click on the Open button to load it. Change its blending mode to Overlay and play around with the filter a bit. Adjust the layer according to your image. Now select the Eraser tool from the menu to ease in and blend the grunge layer with the image. 